guys, what's up? It's Exxoni here, welcome back to the channel. And it's been a while since I actually uh, did an update on Axios again. And also guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, we are getting from Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy IX and we're going all the way to Legend of Mana. Limited time only. So we get Alazul and Pearl. They look pretty good as art. Let's see what they can do. Um, they have uh, limited to eight per player, Alazul and Pearl. So let's check what they have. Um, he has a super limit burst, Alazul. And super limit burst is reduced resist source for one enemy. He has a global upgrade as well. Boost wind, damage of LB, ability to magic, and physical damage against stone and plant monsters for caster, and deal wind damage to one enemy. His super limit burst activated ability, boost attack and LB damage for build cost for mask caster, and the super limit burst cooldown is available from turn 5. He has a new global upgrade vision card. Level 10, attack and defense plus 120. Abilities. Super Trust Mogul, Metal Gigantor, and one NVX Summon Ticket as X2 and X3. Okay, so he's not a premium, that's good. He has a global upgrade on the Super Trust Master as well. Attack plus 300. Okay, we're finally here, guys. 280, 270. We're on 300. Le first unit with 300 attack, I believe. Stone Killer, Plant Killer, LB damage plus 50, boost attack by 1000, boost equipment attack by 100 when a single weapon is equipped in one or both hands, boost physical damage against stone ones by 50, and boost physical damage against plant by 50%, boost LB damage by 50% as well. His Trust Master, Sand Mantle, Legend of Mana, attack plus 70, boost activate yearning for friends, and boost physical and magic damage against plants and stone ones by 50. Uh, he also has a global upgrade on the Fitch abilities, a beautiful race near extinction. Boost HP, MP, attack and defense and spirit by 50, attack by 1000 and boost physical and magic damage against beast, demon, doom, dragons, fairies, insects, plants, reapers, avian, aquatic, messina and stone ones by 50%. He also has a grandus ability, Lapis Lazuli Iridescence, 1 use per battle, boost attack LB damage and wind damage of LB, abilities magic for caster and boost wind damage of LB, abilities magic for caster for the next 2 turns. On to Pearl. She also has a brave shift, she doesn't have a super limit burst, but it looks pretty amazing though. 4 turns uh, shift cooldown, global upgrade, uh, fishing card, global upgrade, super trust master, 200, Attack plus 240, attack plus 500, Lady Black Pearl only, so only her. And Champion of the Uni. Boost attack by 500, boost physical magic damage against the stone ones by 100, boost equipment attack by 200% when a single hammer is equipped in one or both hands. So she's a great hammer wielder, probably. <laughs> Knight of the Clares, also global upgrade Trustmaster. Mana series units only. Boost attack by 500, restore MP by 5% every turn, boost physical magic damage against beasts, demons, humans, dragons, fairies, insects, plants, reapers, avian, aquatic, Messina, and stone monsters by 50. Okay, just basically every goddamn race out there. So boost dark resist for all allies at the beginning of battle, eliminating the threat to the Jumai. Jumai. Change effect of normal attack to damage one enemy, fill all LB cast and boost damage for certain LBs for caster. And she has light damage, reduce light resist for one enemy. Now, onto the event. Um, Steel Castle Melfikaya. Uh, we're getting awesome weapons here, by the way. Abbas Staff Plus. Forgotten Edge Plus. Moon Scourge. Oh man, that looks amazing. Attack plus 190. So basically, we're going to 300 attack, so they're giving weapons for 200 plus for free away, you know? <laughs> um, also, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And maybe share it as well so I can. Get some more uh, more views and stuff like that. So now we got a um, mana series daily free five summon limited once per day. So there's a chance for three percent rate only. You can get uh, Neo Vision units, but it's also a little chance that you can get one of the mana NV units like last year, like Duran or um, the other units that were in the pool. 
And we also get a major big event, World of Visions Legend of Mana, the fleeting fate of the Jumai. Will become available, obtain a collaboration, celebration, envy, guaranteed summon ticket, an envy fragment select ticket, a master's crown and more as individual rewards. Each quest will be open from the following dates, McKeith Caravan, Luan Highway, Domina, the Tower of Ladders, Geo, the Bejeweled City and the Sparkling Vortex. So there's a high chance you can get Lapis again, uh, if you score really high, like top uh, 1000 or top 5000, you can get at least 3000 till about 10,000 Lapis and up. So that's pretty decent, if you're like a hardcore player, you should get this reward, it's really good for Lapis and stuff. Oh yeah, uh, guys, also keep in mind, Mana is coming. But at the end of the month, we also get Halloween units. There's a high chance we also get a, like a brand new Halloween Grimwatch Sakura. I don't know. We don't know. So keep that in mind. Lilith maybe gets an Envy or a Lucius. Or maybe a complete new one. You know, we don't know yet. Dark Visions equipment update. Uh, we now have Dark Kaiser Knuckle Plus Plus, Dark Claymore, Dark Harf, Dark Fockert, Dark Scepter, Dark Dolk, Dark Axed, Dark Aldebaran, Dark Sharur, Dark Mighty Hammer, and Dark Mystic Whip. All has plus plus, so they can go to plus 11 and they have around almost 300 attack or 300 magic. So definitely check this out, guys. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Meaning Dark Vision might become a little bit harder in the future. Um, they also have an Axios campaign again. Uh, there's a half energy for the story line in end of maintenance first day till start of maintenance Wednesday, 11 9. So in November, you have the time to grind season one, season two, season three, and season four during the campaign. All chambers will be open as well for awakening, experience, riches, and creation. Lots, lots, lots is coming. And look at this art, Legend of Mana, the Teardrop Crystal. Anime is now streaming on Crunchyroll worldwide. Oh, I'm definitely gonna check this out. If you guys like anime, definitely check this out. Legend of Mana has their own anime right now. I am definitely gonna watch this. I just watched One Piece. Um, I'm still waiting at the... At the I, how do you say, the ending of One Piece, you know, we're still on 1036, I believe. So if you big One Piece fan, just comment down below. Yeah, I like, I like One Piece a lot, so. Legends of Mana, I definitely uh, never watched it, actually, but I do like how the units are um, in the way of an anime character, and they look really beautiful, so I'm definitely gonna watch this anime. I hope it's really cool. Oh, and we also have a new um, unit, Act Riser Renaissance Collaboration Campaign. To celebrate the collaboration with Act Riser Renaissance, we'll be holding several campaigns starting from 10.6 PDT. He has a super limit burst, he is called the Lord of Life, Light, and he is a new vision, so... He gets a great NV card as well. It looks beautiful though. It has only attack and magic plus 80%. So that's unfortunate. A Lord of Light's helmet, Lord of Light's great sword, and attack plus 500 at attack ability. And for all the faithful, fill all because boost, boost attack and magic and boost fire and light damage. So I'll be able to magic for the caster. Sorry, it's been a while, guys. Uh, so I might have some big issues with words. Uh, if you guys still like my channel, uh, <laughs> I might uh, continue it, you know? Okay, so we get also fragments as well for Lord of Light. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So tell me guys, what do you think? Are you guys gonna summon for Elazul and Pearl? And keep in mind that there might be a part 2 as well, so we might have some other units as well. And there's a big chance Duran, Flummy, uh, I, made, I think Flummy, Randy or Prim might have an NV Awakening. What, what does... Do they have an NV away? No, there's not an NV away. Okay. 
Usually it is with some new banner, but uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I did the update right now because um, got a friend coming over, you know, and um, I am hyped for the upcoming months. Actually, um, my Dokkan lock hasn't been the best, so I'm not going further details on that one. But I'm still doing extras for sure, and maybe legend some more because. Um, getting really good in stuff like that so um yeah comment down below with guys what, what kind of content what kind of videos you want to see again and i might make a schedule for that as well and i might go on twitch as well a little bit uh more i am hyped did a huge break on youtube for a while things didn't go as planning and everything so um i hope you guys will still support me have a wonderful evening. Bye, guys.